Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Windows 10 computer on your Dell Latitude E6400 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just by left clicking on the start button one time. And now you want to type in reset. One of the best managers should say reset this PC. You want to just left click on that to open up this new window. Underneath recovery and reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on get started. So underneath choose an option, two options here. Keep my files or to remove apps and settings but keeps your personal files. Second option removes everything, removes all your personal files, apps and settings. First option here, even though it says it will keep your personal files, I would still highly recommend backing them up to an external media device. But for the purpose of this video, because we're going to be doing a factory reset, I'm going to select the second option to remove everything. Again, it's personal preference, but for this video, you got to fall one way or the other. So do you want to clean the drives too? Basically, if you're going to be keeping your computer and using it, I'd recommend just remove my files. Second option, if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I'd recommend removing files and clean the drive. But the first method is definitely quicker, and I would suggest that for most people. It should probably be sufficient. So I'm going to select the first option. I should say this won't take long, and our final prompt here before we begin. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs, as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while, and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here. This will take some time. Once we get back to some more prompts, I will resume my narration of this tutorial. And just stick around, be patient, and we will be right back.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, it looks like our Dell Latitude E6400 computer has finished up the factory reset. So at this point, feel free to reinstall any applications or programs you had to remove or uninstall through that process that we just went through, as well as I would suggest creating any restore points and backups you guys deem necessary after you've done that. Just good practice. And I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. 
And as always, thank you for watching, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.